Welcome back. And you're still watching today with John and Helen. Our next discussion is on external influences in a relationship. And joining us on the conversation right now is our second guest. He's an abstract thinker. He's a professional counselor, a chartered mediator, and profound spiritual, spirit, um, sp sp spiritual, spiritual therapist. therapist. <laughs> He's a futurist and entrepreneur. He is Mr. Excel Adelie Samuel. He's been on this show before. I was trying to run away from that spirit thing. Spiritual uh, therapist. <laughs> You'll get used to it, don't worry. Spiritual therapist. <laughs> Thank Welcome you, to the show. Thank you for having me Good again. Good to have you I really again. appreciate it. It's a great privilege. <laughs> yes, uh, Excel. I sir. can call you Excel, yeah? Please, feel free, sir. Yes. Uh, you see, we've often heard about external influences in relationships. So what has this got to do with two people in love or in a relationship? Um, I, I think that we are a creature of influences. And if we like it or not, before you know each other, let's assume you're a couple, you're a bundle of influences. Maybe the question we or the focus should be, is it positive? or negative towards the relationship for maybe staying together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that makes sense. So first we have to, we have to pick, mm. yes, you know, the cherries. That's okay. okay, so I pick it up from there. Mm. So are external influences, positive or negative contributors to the success of any relationship? That's it. That's it. Are they? Yes, I, I mean, basically. And, and um, I can bet you that you can know the, the, the process or the end of a relationship based on the influences. So naturally, you hear couples say this, this is not you, this is something strange. Hmm. Because they feel or their instinct says that there is an external force in that personality that has come into. Now, but the question is, how are couple conscious about the external influences? Okay. Now, that is where we have a problem. In my practice, I can bet you that lots of people fail in marriage also because of external influences. You get it now. And, 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 and you find out even the, the, the holy books, even sometimes described, uh, says that uh, for this reason a man should leave. And, and cleave. most of even the culture also, there's part of the culture also that says that, they will say even, for example, some culture will say to a woman, when you are going, you are going to your husband's house, so, and that is you and your husband, not in this house. What they are mm -hmm. trying to say is that don't look back for us to be an influence in your life. You are going to create a new life with this person and all that. That's what even the culture is trying to protect about it. Meaning that, how can both of us become consistent influence that move us to where we say we have agreed we are going? Which is a question a lot of people ask. Let me, let me, task, you, let me yes, task you a bit. Very please, feel free, sir. <laughs> because actually, we, we, of course, I'm sure you would have seen our previous talk with yes, uh, yes. Good Erese. Fantastic. I, I there it. are certain influences that would be regarded as structures. Yeah. Like culture, religion, and then there are also softer influences, maybe social, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your friends and whatever. All of these have an impact on your relationships. Yes, sir. Right? Now, yes, sir. how do you bend? How do you bend? How do you the, let them go How do you completely? let them go? It, sometimes it's difficult. And start <laughs> something a, new, a 20, entirely fresh. Mm. A 24, a 23-year-old young man yeah. who may be, in some cases, may be regarded as a little too young, not too, too, too. Mm. too or too a 30-year-old man. To get into a ma You know, finds it difficult to leave his friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he still goes back to his friends. Mm. And he keeps telling his wife, I, I, my people. I, I have to hang out. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, so <laughs> these are my guys, man. Well, how do we really shake these things off? How do we shake you these see, things off? You see, now this is where we need to be more concerned. It's not about the shaking. It's why you're shaking even. Hmm. Now, there is a big error that we make saying that some influences are not necessary. I will give you for example. Okay. Some inf strong influences about my culture. Your culture has become you. Yeah. Okay. For example, 
I heard when she said she's from Benue State. Mm. And I said to the next person beside me, I said, I have been to Benue. And by my observation, without any further research, I feel that the Benue people are more likely to have successful marriage. My observation. Mm. Why? I mean, I mean, and I say this, if you check by my observation, divorce rate, it is more that it's going to be lesser. And now why is it so? Yeah, why? But base, the cultural influence for marriage is very strong. Regardless of your degree, regardless of your master, they have created a structure for marriage mm. in that culture that all of them submit themselves to. And I said, I mean, I went there for a wedding, and I was took my time to observe the people. And we're the bush people. I think, yeah. We're yeah. bush people. You get it now. I hope you're not sending <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> you're not sending gentlemen. to Benue. Well, no problem, no problem. If it works. <laughs> if it works, <laughs> you know, and all that. Yeah. Based on my observation, and yes. I haven't stayed in Lagos for my years. Yes. And, and Lagos, you know, get you to mix with many cultures. Okay. So, now, the, 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 the focus should be, why should you even change and influence. For example, okay. a pastor once told me one day, and he said to me, Excel, let me tell you something. I've discovered many years in mar marriage, and as a pastor who is counseling couples, there's a lot of things you will say to your wife that she will, will, she will not necessarily hear you or listen or do. Let me be more practical with you. But do you know what? She would answer and do what I say, and away from what you say. Yeah, as an influence. Mm -hmm. Then I said, hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. That means, what he's saying to me is that she has spent more years and she has come to trust his judgment yeah. and believe so much in this person. Mm -hmm. So with wisdom, why should you take that positive influences that could help or interfere when it's necessary? Yes. So I, I, and I think that the generations are missing a lot of things about cutting some positive influences. You see, for the fact I agree, I disagree about an influence, does not mean I'm right. Now, and, I, and we should mark that. Mm -hmm. For the fact that it is not part of my life or not what I want, does not mean, for example, I'll give, I've seen this in counseling with men. When a man gets married, he becomes a king in this so-called palace. And he says in this kingdom, I make the rule, not any other person. Yes, why not? But what the, oh, fantastic, that's who we are, you know. <laughs> yes. But the king needs to realize yes. that that lady, when she was alone, was also a king in her own palace. And she has systems that governors and work with her. Hmm. So when she leaves, even if she lives physically with them, the system is still in her. So it's, it's, it's the case of the head and the neck. Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> you need to realize that. Hmm. So we need to first totally and thoroughly assess even the influences first. Yes. On that basis, then you can now say, me and you have found that over time, that this particular person yes. takes you downward. And remember, you said this and this and this happened. Yes. So look at it. Is it really positive Working. influence to you? Hmm. And now is it going to be a positive influence for this relationship? To us, yeah. So thorough analysis, it is critical, not what you just want. Okay. There is some influences. You will not necessarily agree, maybe your in in law but your mother-in-law is one that is very disciplined, that can talk to her daughter. Why not? Mm -hmm. You just have to like her, man. Not mm -hmm. about the fact that she's egoistic or whatever. If that is going to make your relationship work, come on, embrace it. Mm -hmm. So we need to detach what you want or your personal preference to what is going to make the vision or the intimacy work. Then that is powerful and more positive. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, well, now, isn't this where being sometimes, or perhaps emotionally intelligent and mindful, isn't this where these two words come in? Okay. Because you're saying how big or how wide is, are these uh, external influences? Who are they? Where could they come from, you know? Yeah. It's not only mother-in-law, father-in-law, brother-in-law, yeah. sister-in-law, yeah. yeah. right? Yeah. Isn't this where we need, the individuals need to be emotionally intelligent. So important. And, and I would rather not use the word emotional intelligence. I would rather use the word emotional stability, okay. uh, emotional awareness, 
I'd rather use the word uh, emotional, if possible, if you seek emotional Impulse. healing. Mm. And I'll healing. say what I mean. That's why right, your spirit, spirit to <laughs> <laughs> comes in <laughs> because a sick person, yes, we only give back to sickness, mm. not healthiness, as it were. Mm. Okay? So the individual, if you have not come to level of maturity and you are whole and you have some level of stability or maturity, you can't even assess well, but you assess wrongly. So I would jokingly say sometimes to some people, I said, don't be so stupid to drive your blessings away. Mm. You get it now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I, I will give you, for example, let me give you this practical one. Uh, yeah. I mean, trying to just use case based on sin. A lady has a friend and he has, has this friend for years. And this guy is financially doing well. Then they are just good friends with this lady. Mm. Then this young lady met this guy who says, okay, love you. And he says, that one proposed. Can we marry? He says, okay, no problem. Let us go ahead. But he's not financially doing very well. Okay, he says, okay, don't worry. Like women will do. I believe things will be fine. Let mm -hmm. us start small mm -hmm. and all that. Then this guy started and the things was not working financially. He began to lose his respect or his honor in marriage mm. as a way. And the lady is saying, you have to do something, do something. Then one day he walked to her and said, you know what? This my friend, he's doing very well, though, and all that. Will you talk to this my friend, he has been my childhood friend, and to help you in your business, or to guide you, or he could invest in your own business? And the guy said, no, 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 I don't want that, though. I don't want that. Ego. Mm. Mm. Now, that is coward mm. at work. What shows is that the guy before marriage have not thoroughly cross-examined his own life to heal himself of complex. Complex. Of identity problem. Yeah. Mm. And because if he understand that, it will not be a problem. Rather, it will be the best friend of this other guy who will help him. Now, you do not see what the guy has done. He has subjected his marriage down so that he can be up. And unfortunately, you can just see most of this relationship become unhappy or happy or end up. As so, you don't so such a guy lacks emotional intelligence. That Stability. will not be... That would be more stability. You you see, it because the reason why I'm repeating that word yes. is I've heard it so many. What really, what is emotional, emotional intelligence? intelligence? Oh, okay, okay, like 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 it is described. It's the ability for you to be emotional, like the word is. Yes. You are intelligent emotionally to understanding what they call the word awareness and all that. Mm. You know, and you could feel, and you could sense, and you know what to do part time. And it's different from mindfulness. Yeah, it's, it's quite different from mindfulness. Mm. Mindfulness okay. is more of you being here and you are here. Mm. You get Your it now? Presence. When you are present, that's a powerful word. So, for example, if I'm here and I stop all distractions, okay, bet me I can be that sensitive to hear the on on the, ro on the road. Yes. Because I'm fully you are present. Aware. I'm more aware. Of your... Exactly. Okay, but the one I'm talking about, which is emotional healing most time, is that lots of people have been battered emotionally. Sure. Though you can be intelligent, but if you are not healed, it's going to be wasted. So what emotional intelligence is going to be, is that it's going to be like, uh, you're, you, it's going to be like someone who has a wound and they put a plaster. Okay. So the guy can function and you don't know, but there's a pain mm. inside. Yeah. Mm. So you could see some intelligent people who see their emotional intelligence in the workplace, they are successful, they are doing well, and everybody is hating hell to them, mm -hmm. but they're not emotionally healed. They're sick, they and you know something's to wrong. They to the mountain for 40 days. Uh... Maybe more therapy, as it were, because yeah. some of them are religious, for example, sorry. Okay. The outgoing president um, has been proven by the psychiatrist world that is uh, emotionally sick. Mm. You get it now. That's why you notice they are successful, but they have a problem in dealing with people individual. Okay. okay. See That's the difference now. So they are this way, but they can't go this way. Mm. Okay. Okay. They're very abstract. The, the, this for me is, is, is the main thing. You know, we're talking about external influences. Yes. And you just gave an example of a partner who, exactly. you know, acted in an insecure matter, yes. in manner. Yes. Insecurity and complex and, and all of that. Now, are there any tricks that we can deploy to effectively handle or manage external influences? Okay, I, I mean, so many. Uh, General my, rules. My, yes, my, my former speaker spoke about, um, the former speaker spoke about um, 
culture, relationship culture in the U.S. you have, which mm. is very good. However, I would say this uh, before marriage, uh, for those who have not been married, carefully make sure that like everybody will go for a checkup uh, to check your health. You want to know your your blood group. You know, mm. the same way it's important to do that mentally. Okay. Do that emotionally. Don't scare. Because Don't scare I like <laughs> because, because when it's a check -up. people hear that you need, and the way you said it, yes. that you need to go for a checkup. No, it's, a it's check -up. like uh, uh, you know, you know, it's kind of what it's kind of the part of our world, you know. But okay. we have those yeah, who are embracing the reality to understand mm -hmm. that even if religion says a man have a soul, a spirit, and body, you know, yeah. and he has a mind, so why not even check your mind your to mind. see how sound you are? Yes. Okay, because I say to people. You have proposed to live long with this person. However, you need to know the quality of this product you want to be using. Okay? And sometimes you are blinded by your emotions and your feelings. So you may now need an expertise or look deeper or get experienced people. You know, like I would say to women once time when you had it, I say, listen, do you know what? Ask your if you know somebody that has years of experience and is honest, is working for her, talk to that person. Because there's a way that those who have years of working experience have. For example, I will say this on, when I'm training cancer, I tell them, I say, when couples come to meet you, do you know what you do? Don't think that because you're an expert, you can teach both of parties how to know themselves. As a matter of fact, before they came to maybe three years of relationship or two years, they know themselves more than you. More than you. However, yeah. you have the technicality to decode few things. But this is what we also relieve. The parent of that person knows their child more than you, in a way. Most times. Because there are some, there's some things your parents don't know, really. Mm. You know? yeah. But most importantly, if it's behavior, character, there's nothing she, you, you will do in a marriage in five My years. My mother will tell you. You will tell you everything. So I will give I you all the record. <laughs> but do you know the ignorance thing? People neglect that. And they ignore the in-law. The other thing I don't want to have, I say, I make it in my own session. It's part of the sessions. You are going to go to your mother-in-law and ask questions. That's a strong about, resource. Yes. The mm. son okay. and ask in details okay. and let them school you. Okay. Okay. Never assume mm. that you and all that. At least they will borrow you some sense. Mm. You know what? It's an I, ongoing. I think I'm going to have to book the next flight to <laughs> to worry <laughs> Delta States to see my <laughs> mother in law <laughs> and learn a few things. Unfortunately, yeah. my dear mother in law is no more. Okay. I wish I could. But I mean, I mean, I mean, but she was an angel. Mm. I, I mean, she mm. she was. She was an angel. Mm. You know? Fantastic. Fantastic. And in the short time. Yeah. yeah. And I guess your husband is enjoying the Binway product. Well. So I'm, I'm, I'm promoting it. All roads. You should ask him. All roads now. I can't speak. Nah, I can't speak. Nah, I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> You'll pay me for that promotion. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. We, Thank we you. have been blessed Thank you so with much. your presence on Thank the show so today. Much. Thank you. So much still to talk about, and we hope we'll find the opportunity to do that. Right? To have you again. Mm. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you again. Thank yes. you so much. All right. Um, Moving on the show, um, we, don't forget we have Ferro uh, Obotomo, who is also a part of this show, and her segment is one segment I always look forward to. She will be discussing personality types with Charles Aibona, who is an executive secretary, Institute for Work and Family Integration. Mm. And that will be right after this break. Please, once again, don't go anywhere.